everyone. This is Ed from Demon Speed Motorsports, coming to you from what we like to call the lofts of Demon Speed. This is the second floor of our shop area, where we have our Porsche-inspired pinball machine, our slot car track, 3D printer, vinyl printer, uh, awards display case, obviously the conference table, my office is up here, and a few other goodies, including small parts inventory. Um, what we're going to do up here with you today is we're doing an instructional video on how to put together the nitrogen hose for the air jacks. So what I've got for you out here is this is what will come with your air jack kit. I've got a, a little option and then I've got some other accessories that may or may not be included but you need to have uh, one way or the other for your nitrogen system. So let's talk about that for a minute. What comes in the kit is the, the hose, either 25 foot or 50 foot uh, hose. We have a T fitting, we have a valve, and we have a uh, male and female uh, quick disconnect. So uh, to also aid in assembly comes the Teflon tape point of the Teflon tape, I'm sure as you know, is to seal the threads so none of the gas leaks out. Because if you assemble it without Teflon tape, you'll have leaks coming out of pretty much everywhere. So let's go ahead and get started, and then we'll work on some of the other parts to it as well. So the reason why we don't pre-assemble anything is when you've got your regulator, and this regulator is the Lincoln Motorsports regulator, uh, 600 PSI, um, system that uh, uh, Demon Speed sells so you can get this through us and in fact if you get the regulator you get the hose kit you get everything that you got here get a hold of us and tell us that you want us to assemble it for you and we'll be happy to do that the reason why like I was saying that we don't pre-assemble the hose components before we ship it out to you is you, with the regular configuration the way it is with the valves on it, you can't actually screw it onto the regulator once it's assembled. So you'd have to just take it back apart and put it back together if you were to do that. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So what I like to do is I like to start assembly at the regulator. So we go ahead and we start with the T. So the regulator, this particular radi regulator already has um, some Teflon tape on the nipple coming out of the regulator. And of course the nipple is the 3 8 inch ni uh, uh, nipple, which is the correct size for this entire system. If you are using a different kind of regulator, uh, maybe one that's made for welding, it's going to only have a 3 8 nipple on it, so you're going to have to get a, an adapter fitting to take it from the quarter inch to the 3 8 but if you get it from us, it's going to have the 3 8 on there. You'll be all set. No need for other pieces parts. So here we go. We're going to take our Teflon tape. We're going to, now there's already Teflon tape on here, but I like to give it a little extra wrap on it just to make sure that we've got enough on there and it's thick enough. Probably the easiest way to do this with this component because it's hard to spin around is, is break off a piece. And you get it on there. Get a couple wraps on it. Because again, this is what seals the, the threads so that the nitrogen doesn't leak out around the threads. And then the way that I like to have the uh, T is I like to put the base of the T towards the regulator. And I'll show you why in a minute. So let's just go ahead and spin that on. Fight me a little bit. There it goes. I got a couple wrenches here. Uh, don't really need a second wrench to hold the the uh, regulator while you're doing this. You can do it all with one here. Doesn't have to be super tight. You just find the position you want. There you go. That's probably good. So what I like to do is I like to position it like this, so it goes into the bottle and towards the front. You're going to have your hose, and towards the back. That's where I put my valve. And you can see that if I actually put 
the valve on here and then tried to spin it, it would be hitting the, the gauge and it wouldn't work. So let's go ahead and put the valve on. Just throwing it around. Again, with our wrench, doesn't have to be super tight. More importantly, you want to position the, the valve to turn it on and off the way that you want to have it in the assembly. Nice having it face down like that. Now we'll go ahead and we'll put the hose on. It's next up. So we'll take one end of the hose. Teflon tape again. Might be easier if I unwrap the hose, but I'm not going to. We'll end up sending this one out to a customer. Next lucky customer who orders the whole thing. So now this time, I'll use the two wrenches. I'll hold, I'll hold the, the T with one wrench there, and I'll get the, the hose with the other side, and we'll give it, we'll snug it up a little bit. A little awkward. And just about like that. All right. So now the hose is attached to the nitrogen uh, regulator. And what we'll do on the other side is we'll put our quick disconnect. So again, Teflon tape here. Again, I'll use both wrenches. We'll get that on there. All right. So now this is complete. That's how exactly how we want it to be. Okay. Now that we have the hose and regulator assembled just the way we want them to be, we're going to go ahead and assemble the, the wand to the connector so it can attach to the hose. So the first thing that we're going to do is when you get the wand new, you're going to see it's got a cap on it. Take the cap off. Then you've got this blue fitting on there. Now the blue fitting is a 37 degree uh, fitting that adapts from uh, M10 to the 37 degrees, and we're not going to be using that. We're going to take that off. However, uh, underneath the fitting, there is an aluminum washer. We're going to be reusing that. So the first thing that you do is you take the blue fitting off, you take the cap off, hold on to the aluminum uh, washer, and you've got the wand. Now, either you're going to be using just an adapter like this, or you're going to be going to a uh, swivel like this. So the, you can use either one, but you need one of them to go from the M10 fittings that are on the Crontec to the 3 8 NPT fittings that are on your hose assembly. So we're going to show putting the uh, swivel on. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take off the yellow cap on that, which uh, exposes the aluminum uh, M10 threads. You're going to go ahead and slide your, your aluminum washer onto there, and then you're going to screw that onto the uh, end of the Crontec. And 
And when it gets tight, or you know, finger tight, you're going to want to line up the flats. There's a set of flats on the little narrow collar and on the swivel itself. You line those up so you can get your wrench on there. And you get one wrench on there. You get the other wrench on the other set of flats um, down at the, on the wand. And you're just going to want to you know, cinch those up a bit, maybe a bit more than you did that, but not so much. Again, remember, they're aluminum threads, so they don't take much. But you want that aluminum washer, it's a crush washer, you want that to crush a little bit so because that's what's providing the sealing surface. So now that we have that assembled, we want to go ahead and put our male end of the quick disconnect on. So back to our Teflon tape again. Give it a few wraps, a couple wraps. Don't have to overdo it. So you get a couple wraps on there. Thread it in, and go ahead and cinch that up. Like so. So now you have your completed hose assembly. And this goes in just by pulling back the collar, sliding it in, and there you go. So let's talk about this hose assembly a little bit so that I can explain to you exactly what the, what the um, valve is on here for. So the reason for this valve, and you know, it, it needs to be in this position for it to be shut off, um, the reason for it existence is that you can't decouple this fitting when there's 500 PSI of air pressure on the hose. So what you'll do is when you've got it on the, on the car, if you want to disconnect this, you're going to need to purge the air, the nitrogen out of the hose by uh, moving the valve. It drops the nitrogen. Of course, you're going to have your tank off before you do that. And then you can put that right back to closed again. And then this fitting will pop back apart. Now, you want to do that before you disassemble everything when you're packing up to go home. Uh, or uh, this is also a, a, an option for you. When you go ahead and get the hose, you can go ahead and also get these, um, the, the, these two fittings. One is a second uh, male fitting, just like the one that we put into the contact wand, and the other one is a quarter-inch quick disconnect, uh, which has the right 3 8 inch threads on the back of it, to accept to our, um, our male quick disconnect. And the reason why you might want to do that is when you have your assembly, if you want to use this for other things like nitrogen in your tires or um, a, a air power gun or anything like that where you would normally use compressed air, you can use the compressed gas because you're taking that away from your tank to do that, just keep that in mind. But the, the, when you use an air tool like that, you're really targeting 120 PSI, not the 450, 500 PSI that you're going to be using with the air jacks. So what you're going to do when you, when you put this fitting together, you put it on the hose before you use anything, you crank down the, the pressure with this big knob on the front of your, your uh, regulator, you purge the gas out of it so you get it down to zero, you take this fitting off, you put this fitting on that, that let's go ahead and assemble it right now so you can see what that looks like. So again, Teflon tape. A little sticky there. And we'll throw that on. Try the Teflon tape again. There's a there's one, a, a good way and a bad way to to put your Teflon tape on. You you want to put it on with your threads, not against your threads, so that when you go to thread it on, it wraps it tighter, not trying to remove it off of your piece. Of course, you know, right-handed people, it's easier to uh, wrap it the other way. So I always end up wrapping it the other way. So there we go. We get that on there. Put that on, see how much nicer that went on than the way I had it the first time. 
and we put this together. So now what you end up with is basically just an adapter. So this takes it from this quick disconnect to your standard quick disconnect for your quarter inch uh, uh, air tool fittings or uh, air chuck or whatever you might have. So now that that's on there, you close the valve, you turn your tank pressure back on, and you work this back up until your pressure gauge shows around 120 PSI rather than the 450, 500 PSI that you just had on it with the air jacks. So this is an option that you can get when you're buying your air hose assembly. And that's just the way that it is assembles like that. Uh, it'll come in the box, just those two pieces. So if you're like, why did I get these extra couple of pieces? That's, that's what they're for. So that's how that goes together. That's how this goes together. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. Um, we're happy to help. Uh, we'll, we'll add in any kind of questions and answers into the comment section below this video. Thank you very much.